Does the NBA need a midseason tournament? The short answer is no. I don't think anybody is of any delusion that the NBA needs any more games, but we're going to talk about a possible midseason tournament for the NBA. Something that has been proposed, it's something that has been talked about for years and continues to come up now with the success of the play-in games. We're going to talk about what this could potentially look like, what teams could potentially be playing for, does it make sense for players, for teams, and would it actually end up happening? But quickly before we get started, I'd like to remind people, this is the most consistent NBA content on YouTube. I upload every single day on this channel, so if that's something that you're looking for, consider subscribing. You can leave a like rating on the videos as well if you're enjoying them, and you can check me out at various socials and a link tree link down in the description below. With those things said, let's talk about the NBA's mid-season tournament idea. So this is something that has been continually thrown out by Adam Silver specifically for years now. He draws inspiration from, you know, international soccer leagues, whatever the case may be, where he believes that a mid-season tournament would be a nice little refresher in the middle of the year for the league for a couple of different reasons. One, we have the all-star break. That is a very clear, uh, you know, definition in the league calendar where Guys can get a break from their regular teams and you can kind of just take some time away. And then he also wants to throw this midseason tournament in again to kind of break up the season because the NBA season can get very, very long. And the benefits that he sees to this are a couple. One, it gives teams that maybe aren't championship contenders something else to play for. There's another trophy to earn here. There's potentially benefits to the players in terms of incentives that they could earn if they play well or win this particular tournament. And there's the possibility that, for example, this year, the Lakers are clearly a contender to win the title, but maybe they wouldn't really care that much about the midseason tournament. They wouldn't play their guys or whatever the case may be. And a team like, uh, I don't even know, a, a team like Miami could win the midseason tournament and, and give themselves a lot of momentum towards the second half of the season. The second benefit, of course, to this, and I think the thing that's driving this for the most part, is money. It's more money in the pockets of the owners. It is uh, you know, a bigger event that you can kind of hype up a little bit more than just your typical Saturday night NBA game. And it would, in his mind at least, bring a lot of excitement and attention to the league. And the reason this is being brought up once again is because of the success of the play-in games. The play-in games are something that was proposed a couple of years ago, were implemented this year. And despite some of the games not being fantastic, that Lakers Warriors game specifically has gotten a lot of people on board with the idea and it's going to be something that's going to be part of the league for years moving forward and if there was ever a time for them to continue to bring up the midseason tournament thing and potentially have some momentum behind it it would be now and it makes total sense now there's a couple of issues for me here when it comes to the player side of this because I'm uncertain about two things one how this fits in the league schedule and two why players would care about this in the first place, apart from just the fact that it's basketball games and they're supposed to go out there and play and play to win. So the first part, the NBA season is arguably already too long when it comes to an 82 game season. And it does kind of drag along and the play in games helped the last couple weeks of the season be more exciting, which typically is a big issue for the league. But if you add a midseason tournament in again, along with that, and then we're looking at, I don't know, 90 games in the regular season, that seems like a lot. So what I would say would be if you want to shorten the season to 72 games, plus a play in tournament, that could potentially make sense. But then that goes in contrast to the idea of this making the league more money, unless you're thinking that the tournament games themselves are going to provide more revenue than just regular regular season games would be i don't know how the calculations would work there but one of the main incentives clearly for the league here is to increase revenue through this midseason tournament and if you take away games to fit it in it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense from that perspective and the other part of this is what is incentivizing these players other than just the fact that it's basketball games are supposed to go out there and win but in the modern nba you need to think of other reasons as to why players would be incentivized and why you know th these guys would even go out there and play like did this count towards the regular season standings is there some kind of benefit that the winner of this midseason where the mid the winner of the midseason tournament gets home court advantage in the first round of the playoffs no matter what you know what i mean like what what would be the incentive other than just hey we won the adam silver commissioner's cup tournament in the middle of the year there's no other reason to play other than just to win the thing, but if it doesn't count towards the regular season, how it impact the year as a whole, how it impact the playoffs, because we've already seen players love resting during the regular season, which is partially because the season is too long and it's too condensed and also just because, you know, they like to take some time off. And so why would that be any different with a midseason tournament? And if it becomes a thing where players are skipping it all the time, then what's the point of it existing in the first place? 
Having said all those things and all the negative things about this midseason tournament, I would fully expect this to be implemented at some point down the road. Adam Silver is too passionate about this. It comes up too often for it not to eventually become a reality. And they're going to sit down and they're going to talk about it with the owners and they're going to say, hey, here's how we can increase your revenue. And they're going to be all in, quite frankly. They're going to figure out a way for this to make the league more money and the owners are going to be in. I just don't know how you convince the players to make this a reality. But again, if that's your only obstacle, they will find a way to incentivize players. The flip side to this, and one that I think would be interesting, but I fully do not expect to get implemented, and it's one that gets thrown around all the time, is the idea of a tournament to, that somehow is related to the draft Odd, the draft lottery odds, the potential to get the number one overall pick, whatever the case may be. So the most extreme example of this would be teams that are in the lottery in a round robin tournament and whoever wins that tournament gets the first overall pick in the draft. That would be a very extreme example and one that I think is incredibly unlikely to be implemented, no matter how fun that would be. Like think about the teams that are in the lottery this year and like the Warriors playing against all these other teams vying for the number one pick in the draft but then how does that work if you've traded away your pick can you trade for the right to be in the tournament should it only include the bottom five teams in the odds because obviously the Warriors are a better team than for example the Rockets would it deter tanking would it allow teams to tank even more just to get into that bottom five to try and play these different teams and you'd rest all your guys and then that way your odds are better but your team is better because then you just play your regular guys to play in this tournament there, there's as you can tell there's way more obstacles to that than there are just a regular mid-season tournament in the you know in the middle of the year i still think it would be really interesting but I, I have zero idea how it would be implemented the bottom line here is there's gonna be some kind of tournament added to the nba the play-in thing we saw was was a success they the, the way that they structured it from a seating perspective made a lot of sense and the league's going to put some, some time and some thought into this. They're probably going to come up with three proposals on, you know, different kinds of midseason tournaments, whether it impacts draft odds or not. And they're going to propose it, and it's probably going to go through. Typically, that's how these things work. If you can get all the owners on board by making sure it gets them more money, and then you can find some incentives for the players, it ends up happening. But the thing that people continue to, to fight back on this is like, what's the point of this? Who is this for? Nobody really cares about the midseason tournament. And here's what I would tell you. As progressive as the league has been about a variety of different things, and I think it's probably the most well-run league of all of the major American professional sports, it's still a money-driven thing. And at the end of the day, we can they can propose something like a mid-season tournament that a lot of people look around and think, who is this for? What is this benefiting? Why are we doing this? But if it makes them money and it makes the owners money, it's going to be something that's going to go through at the end of the day. So you can disagree with it. I can disagree with it. They can implement it in addition to the 82-game season and make it even more wear and tear on these players. But ultimately, it's going to be a money-driven thing if they can add it to the TV contract, if they can make it its own exclusive thing and have all these other uh, you know, networks bid on that TV contract and, again, makes the league more money. Uh, quite frankly, that's going to be what they're going to end up doing. So even though I don't agree with it and I don't fully see the point unless there's some kind of crazy incentive that I'm not thinking about, this is going to end up happening now specifically towards like the draft pick thing or playing for better draft positioning you know uh, in addition to all the other obstacles i think the incentive thing is even more pronounced there as a negative because the players are essentially competing to draft their replacement so like the timberwolves would be there and then d'angelo russell would be playing to potentially get replaced by kate cunningham as like the lead guard on the team I don't really know how you incentivize them there. Do you give them extra money? But if D'Angelo Russell's making $33 million this year, and you're like, hey, the winner of this tournament, everybody gets an extra million. Like, that's not a small number, certainly, to one, anybody on the roster, but two, specifically the guys at the end of the roster. But does that really incentivize someone like D'Angelo Russell to play in this tournament or play well, especially then when, if they get the first pick, Kate Cunningham's going to be there, his touches are decreased. There's just a lot of layers to this that ultimately, I don't think the lottery thing is going to end up happening, but some kind of Commissioner's Cup midseason tournament thing, I would imagine within the next five years will be implemented in the league. I don't know if it's going to be successful. I don't know if anybody's going to care about it, but I think you could have made that case for the playing game stuff as well, and it turned out to be a positive in a lot of different ways. In some ways... It was maybe too many games or some of the 9-10 games weren't fantastic, but that Lakers-Warriors game was an incredibly highly rated game, and it's one that was arguably the game of the year for a lot of people. And then the Grizzlies-Warriors game was fantastic as well, and it did some things at the end of the year to kind of really force these teams to stay out of that 7-8 spot 
and make sure they weren't in the play-in game and gave some teams like the Wizards extra hope towards the end of the year that they wouldn't have had otherwise to be able to make the postseason because all you had to do was get to the 10th seed and then at least you had a chance. So you guys can let me know down in the comment section below what you think of the midseason tournament, if it's completely pointless, if you love it, if you have an idea for one that would really work. But all I would tell you is that I do think at some point this is going to happen because um, people like to make money in the NBA and other professional sports leagues. And I don't blame them as long as it doesn't negatively impact a product, which you could argue this would. But that is going to be the end of today's video. And I thank you guys very much for watching. Once again, my name is Tucker. If you missed any of my previous videos, be sure to check out the boxes on screen. Leave a like rating on the videos if you're enjoying them. And check me out at various socials and a link to link down in the description below. With all those things said, hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. And I will see you all next time.